Kent bringing you another tutorial over uh, the game we've been playing on our channel, doing a walkthrough of uh, Dragon Age 2. Uh, it's a very, very awesome game, but of course it's one of those games that uh, do have some exploits you can use. Uh, with PC versions, what we're going to cover mainly today on this tutorial, because as a PC user, you get the option of using the, the console commands. Um, the developers use this as well to actually develop the game to make to put in certain things or to uh, test out the game for themselves and that's what we're going to be doing today as well as we're going to be trying this out uh, and see if it works for us in game and it will and I know this for myself but for those of you who would like to go back through a second or third or fourth or fifth time how many times you've been playing and you don't want to worry about money or you don't want to worry about reputation or like that this is a good way to do that to just enjoy the the concept of the game now of course there's XP things you can do with that as well but I really don't recommend doing that uh, because you're not going to have the armor or the weapons to go against the creatures that you're going to have to fight against as you level up normally you get better armor and things uh, and they just not fall out New Vegas it's not where you can just give yourself any item you want it's not it don't work like that yet somebody will probably figure it out though uh, but basically this glitch can be done there's a glitch you can do in Xbox uh, and PS3 where you know if you turn into one of those quests that you don't have a cutscene you can just hit your action key well unfortunately PCs don't have that but we do have the console command so there's a very easy thing that you have to do to enable uh, the console command stuff. Basically you need to go to your hard drive. Go to your program files. So you need to locate your Dragon Age 2 folder. Uh, for me it's just under Dragon Age 2. Most people will. Uh, now you have the Dragon Age 2 launcher. That's not what you want to look at right now though. You want to go to bin ship and go to Dragon Age 2 application. Then you're going to want to right click that and you're going to say create shortcut. When ask you to send it to the desktop you're going to go yeah, yeah okay so you're gonna have your shortcut I've already got one over here but that's because uh, I tried this earlier to make sure it work before I've done the tutorial and basically you're gonna to want to go to properties of that shortcut link okay there we go it's a little slow today and see here at the target okay you're going to put something completely different in at the end of this you're gonna do a space there has to be a space there then you're gonna do a just for good measure, I'm going to pull this up so we know exactly what we're doing here. So here's what it looks like before. Here's what it looks like after. Alright. So after the XE and then the also the print, uh, the uh, quotation marks, you put a dash enable developers or developer console. That's it. That's all you have to do and it's ready to go right there just by having that little bit that's all you have to do to it because automatically the default command uh, I'm going to delete this since I don't need it anymore I showed you but the default command in game is tilde key which is basically to the left of your one on your keyboard uh, you hit that and I'm going to show you in game here real quickly that it's not going to actually show you anything uh, as far as it's not going to show you uh, like in, in New Vegas if you've ever done it in there it's not going to come down with a little bar that you know you can see what you're typing out uh, it's going to be hidden and you just have to know the commands you have to know the commands when you type them in correctly hit enter hit it work or it won't uh, but and you know if you're in console command zone because you won't be able to walk so here I can walk forward hit tilde I can't walk forward so, once I do something, I can not have to worry about it. This is my two-handed war I've been playing with a little bit. So, I'm going to type in one cheat. Uh, it's one of the, the one I'm going to do right now is run script space add money space. And I'm going to give myself... Uh, I'm going to give myself maybe 100. Okay, 10,000 gold. <laughs> Oops. Anyways... Uh, see it says you once you hit enter and you type it in how much it, and it's in uh, it's in copper so you gotta type in the amount that would be the equivalent of your um, I guess you could say your 
what else are those sovereigns yes sovereigns so as you can see it's a lot of money uh, so it's just a good easy way to get money especially if you're low on money and you want to get a lot of potions and things like I have here with this guy um, but the walkthrough we're doing on my channel that you can find the link for in the upper right hand corner here um, is actually done with my rogue dual wielding rogue uh, it's not it's not cheated in any way because um, when I do my playthroughs for you guys I never will use anything like that uh, so I want to show you this though before I come to a complete shut off with this tutorial uh, the the gloves uh, the, the dragon oh, shoot what is it the red dragon armor or whatever that is blood dragon armor that's it uh, at least, if you put the gloves on <laughs> and then you put on the the actual chest piece of the uh, uh, the, the, the chest let's see what it is it? I don't want to tell y'all wrong uh, Warplate of the Fallen and then you put on the Blood Dragon Gauntlets it actually does not show your arms like between the two pieces of armor so it's a nice little glitch I found in the game a little bug but anyways guys I'll see y'all a little bit later I hope this tutorial was interesting though to teach you how to use the console command uh, for those of us who are PC users and are not, to say, just uh, out. who are, are you not sure you want to console me? players, who can kind of exploit the game. That way. I don't think it's ever going to be glitched. I mean, uh, so or fixed in a patch. So don't worry about I that. I think we've been using this for a long time. The the but just remember to do this door. wisely. Don't overdo the. Don't overdo. Maybe you've slipped their minds. Your experience and things, because like I say, if you don't have the armor and the weapons, you're going to suck at the game. Easy to forget. You're going to die. You didn't have anything to do with this. But anyways, I'll see y'all a bit later. Take care of yourselves. I hope you out. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like this tutorial. I do all types of walkthroughs. Right now, I'm just centering on Dragon Age 2 because it's so large of a game. But I will see y'all later. Take care of yourselves, and peace out.